Hello, Heritage of Faith family. I'm so glad that you're part of this 21-day prayer challenge, 21-day word challenge, and a time of just setting ourselves apart for God. I believe God is working on something. I believe he's doing something extraordinary, supernatural, and unusual. I believe we're gonna see the hand of God come upon our lives like never before. And I'm telling you, this is our season, and I'm excited about it. You know, my prayer encouragement to you today is really based in where this challenge came from. In Matthew chapter six, Jesus tells them to seek first the kingdom of God and all these other things will be added unto you. But before he says that, on a couple different occasions, he tells them, don't take any thought. Don't take thought for what you're gonna eat, what you're gonna drink, what you're gonna wear. He says on a couple other times, he says, take no thought. And he goes on and says, because all the Gentiles are seeking after these things. And as I was meditating and thinking on this the other day, I heard this, why think about things when we can pray about things? I believe ultimately that's what Jesus is communicating to the disciples and he's communicating to us. Don't take thought. Why think about things when you can pray about things? Why take the time to worry about things when you can pray about things? The Apostle, the Apostle Paul said it this way, be careful for nothing, but in everything, in prayer and supplication, make your request made known unto God. And then it goes on to say, in the God of peace. You see, it's not thinking about things or taking care for things, but it is giving your care to him. It's seeking first him. It's, it's going after him. So I encourage you today, why think about things when you can pray about things? You know, the disciples, they went to the upper room and Jesus told them to go there and tarry and wait there. They know they're waiting for something uncommon. They're waiting for something extraordinary, but they didn't really know exactly when that was going to happen. But yet it was in their prayer, in the midst of them setting themselves apart for God not focusing on everything that was around them, but seeking first God's kingdom. And it was in the midst of that, that in their time of prayer, that the Holy Ghost showed up in an extraordinary way. And it totally changed their lives forever. And it totally changed everyone else around them. So I wanna encourage you, don't give up on your, on your prayer. Don't make this just a 21 day challenge. Make it a daily habit in your life. Let this become something more than just a 21 day habit. So why think about things when we can pray about things? Let's make it a lifestyle. Love you, God bless you, and I'm looking forward to great days ahead of us. God bless.